Chief Executive Officer of Kanchi Kamkodi Child Sex Hospital. Of course, the, I, uh, the hero of the day is uh, our uh, pediatric hemato-oncologist, Dr. Dina Dayalan, who is a consultant in our institution as well as in Rela Institute. Welcome, Dr. Dina Dayalan. Along with him, we have uh, Dr. Meena, our consultant in the hemato-oncology in Texas Hospital. Dr. Naresh Shanmugam, my good channel link between Rela and uh, KKCTH in getting this on. And I welcome all the consultants of uh, Child Stress Hospital, Dr. Balaram Chandran, Dr. Pen. And once we thought of having uh, uh, the idea of starting a bone marrow transplant unit, our hospital uh, lacked some facilities for uh, doing it successfully. So at that time, <coughs> our uh, chairman, Dr. A.C. Mutea, suggested that I should get in touch with Professor Rela and take his assistance in getting this on. I went and met him twice uh, for this, and uh, immediately he said, you know, Child Stress is one organization uh, which is service oriented and I will definitely do everything required for that. And he has kept his word and thanks to Dinaday Allen, Naresh and Professor Leila, we have been able to perform this. Thank you, Professor Leila, for this. Because all The background to the story, I think it's very important for you to understand that. And I want to thank Dr. Bal Subramaniam for um, organizing this and keeping me updated. We were meant to meet uh, two or three years ago. And I want to thank Dr. Um, uh, Chandra Mohan as well, the, the CEO, uh, for organizing this. Now, <clears throat> the, the association we have between um, our institution and um, and um, the Child Trust um, is, is a long-standing one. And um, I think I visited here some 15 years ago when I was working in King's and gave a lecture here on liver diseases. And I was amazed. I, at that time, I didn't realize that there was such a big hospital. And you said that uh, COVID time has been a tough time. And I, today, I walk into this institution. It's just teeming with patients. Um, and uh, I, I felt that... Um, you know, when I was approached for supporting the bone marrow transplant program, um, it's a very important aspect for us as well to have an association with a hospital like this. The in the child trust loan will get a special getting now. It's a low cost but very high end treatment options. I think um, everybody who works here, Dr. Bala is here. I think he runs one of the most important intensive care and. Um, and the most um, highly specialized intensive care, Dr. Priya's managing liver, ch children cancer, for free for, for many patients. I think to have an association for an institution like this and not a corporate hospital and to provide such a high-end care for patients is very important for everybody to support. And I want to thank Naresh really for, um, for being the link really for us. I mean, he's a pediatric hepatologist and He's probably responsible for the smooth running and um, and this association, what this association provides. I mean, we are a corporate hospital and you know this. Um, even for us to do a bone marrow transplant and when they don't have a funding, when a corporate hospital is approaching for funding, it's very difficult to get funding. Whereas a trust hospital like this approaches for funding, it's very easy to get funding. And tax, isn't it, for the cost of bone marrow transplant. And when we, when we can share uh, the doctors and, the, um, um, and also the infrastructure and everything, then the cost comes down. Because we have Dr. Dina Dayal, the whole team here. Uh, to, and I think that has been a huge advantage for us and we are very delighted. And what's most important is this is not an operation like other transplants. You saw what Dr. Dina Dayal said. It's, even then, I think it's very difficult to get good outcome in bone marrow transplant because it depends on the infrastructure, it depends on how well these children can be protected from infection complications, 
and then discharged and very carefully managed immunosuppression for over a period of time. You shouldn't think bone marrow transplant is just like a blood transfusion and what's the big fuss is about. It is about actually looking after these children and that's why the nurses and the doctors and the health professionals and the infrastructure available is important. And I'm so glad that um, the first two cases have been so successful here. And I think your role as the media is to make people understand um, that is why you're here, that such services are available in trust hospitals at a very cost-effective manner, and not just cost-effective, but extremely successful manner it can be done here. And, and thank you all for coming, and I thank the team here for uh, asking me to be present here. I think it's a very important moment, even for the child, child history. You've been here serving how many children, how many thousands and thousands of children's lives have been saved, and you said there are about 10,000 children in Tamil Nadu who, re who require bone marrow transplantation. And I don't think we can leave these children to have transfusion again and again with all the complications of transfusion. And I think it is very important that we provide a good opportunity for these children, not just to live, but to have a good quality life. I mean, the, the striking difference between a child who did not have a bone marrow transplant and manage without a bone marrow transplant and the one who had bone marrow transplant, you see for yourself. And, and this technique really improves the quality of life for the child, for the family and for everybody uh, tremendously and allows them to have a normal life expectancy. And thank you very much for uh, coming here and thank you. I thank the team for inviting me for a celebration of this. Thank you.